What is up, you guys? It's me, Kiki Solano, welcoming you to BYUSN right now. Let's start today off with some things you might not know, but some things you should know. Like Paisley Johnson Harding, well, she can play with a broken hand. Quarterback Jacob Conover, he can double as a BYU equipment manager. And Matt Harms, oh, he's real good at puzzles. Let's go. Regular season play may be over for BYU women's volleyball, but they are looking to continue their winning streak into the postseason. Our Cougs received a 16 seed and a first round bye in the NCAA tournament. The girls will play on Thursday at 10.30 p.m. Eastern time in Omaha, Nebraska, where they will take on the winner of the UCLA Ryder game. Let's move on to some of our Cougs who had big performances of their own this weekend. But actually, there's so many that we got to do my BYU in review. Number two, BYU men's volleyball took down USC in four sets on senior night, extending their win streak to 11. After dropping the first two games to Santa Clara, BYU baseball bounces back to get the 3-1 dub in the final game of the series. BYU softball swept number 25 Baylor in their doubleheader. To make those dubs even sweeter, coach Gordon Eakin got his seventh 100 career win. Big congrats to him. BYU track and field has been busy breaking some records. Cameron Bates recorded a 77.17 meter javelin throw, setting a new program record. Oh, and that qualifies him for the U.S. Olympic trial. Wild. All-American Connor Mance ran a 13:24 in the men's 5,000 meter to set a new school record. Number 17 BYU women's soccer tied St. Mary's 1-1 in double overtime. And finally, number 12 BYU gymnastics has their season come to an end after scoring a 186.35 in NCAA regionals. Congrats to the girls on an amazing season. Whoo! I can finally breathe. I really tried to do that in 30 seconds. How'd I do? Maybe okay. All right. All right. I'm gonna get straight into it. This year, Matt Harms, like all other athletes, get an extra year of eligibility if they would like to use it. So when Matt Harms posted this picture saying he's weighing his options, well, you can sort of see why Cougar Nation all started freaking out. Now, if that wasn't enough to keep us on our toes, he also posted this to his Instagram story. Pictures of a gift from Mark Pope. And on his story, he asked, what do you guys think I should do? Matt, are you kidding me? I mean, we all think you should stay. Look, I've never had to give a recruitment pitch, but I think this is the closest I'll get to a mini one. Matt, Cougar Nation loves you. You did some special things this year and you have the opportunity to run it back. That, that is a gift. Plus, you've only begun to see what Marriott Center magic is like with fans. Trust me, you want another year of that. What I'm really trying to say, as clear as day is, Matt Harms, stay at BYU for another year. I want you to stay. Now let's move from men's hoops to women's hoops. We all know that BYU women's hoops had a great season. They were tough, they battled, and they balled out. And well, it turns out they're even tougher than we thought. Paisley Johnson Harding posted on her story that in the first game of the NCAA tournament versus Rutgers, she broke her hand towards the end of the game. Not only this, but she kept playing. And yes, she even sunk her free throws with a broken hand. Good news is early last week, she had a successful surgery and though it was rough at first, Looks like she's doing well now. She make it clap, clap, clap. She make it clap, clap, clap. Get well soon, Pays. On to football. Look, we're always talking about the quarterback battle, and I, I get it. But how about we talk about something that one of our quarterbacks is doing off the field? BYU Equipment posted a video on Twitter showing Jacob Conover doing recon in the equipment room. That is next level. But according to him, the equipment room, it's just where the magic happens. Dude, this is the best equipment room in the nation. We got the best guys. Now how about we get to some Smith Fieldhouse magic? The Smith Fieldhouse wasn't just magical because of BYU men's volleyball's most recent dub versus USC. It was magical because it was senior night. Men's volleyball, they were really getting us all in our feels on social media leading up to the match. And the players added to this after the match as well. And now I'm just... I'm just not good. I'm so grateful for our seniors. We really have been witnessing greatness from them over the last few years. Guys, we're lucky. So while I want to thank them, I also want to keep on getting hyped because they're not done yet, and I know they're going to finish the season strong. Thanks for hanging out with me on BYUSN right now. 
You know what to do. Follow us. If you're not already following us, but you should be following us. See ya!